All right, so as Karina mentioned, the lawyer representing those convoy organizers, Brendan Miller, he was removed from the courtroom earlier today, but Judge Rouleau isn't the only person Miller is clashing with this week. He also made allegations against a man named Brian Fox, a principal at Enterprise Canada, a national public relations firm. And Miller is alleging that Fox was photographed carrying a Nazi flag in Ottawa during the early days of the protest in an apparent attempt to discredit the convoy. Explain to us why you've named Brian Fox. Because publicly. we have a witness in our application that can, who had met the person with the flag, all right, on the day he was running around with it, and can identify him as Mr. Fox. Who's that? Okay, Enterprise Canada's president, Jason Leader, is in Burlington, Ontario, and he joins me now. So, uh, Jason, I'm going to get right to it. W was Brian Fox in Ottawa during the convoy dressed in army fatigues and carrying a Nazi flag? No, absolutely not. I mean, in no way, shape or form. Patently false. Um, an unhinged allegation. We don't know where it came from. We don't know, you know, why this is, uh, has, has come up. But I'll just say, um, you know, Brian Fox was in Toronto that weekend. He hasn't been in Ottawa since February of 2019, where he was attending, by the way, the Conservative Manning Conference. Brian Fox is a conservative, by the way. That's, that's where this allegation is coming from, that, uh, that, uh, that we're somehow, you know, our, our firm is, is trying to help the Liberal Party or Mr. Trudeau. And you know me, uh, David, I'm you know your viewers would know me. I've been on this for, uh, this this show many of time many times criticizing Mr. Trudeau. I'm a I'm a well known conservative. I ran Stephen Harper's war rooms. I mean it's a laughable allegation um, that's being made here. I don't know why it's being made, but I thought it was important to to say you know sort of straight away um, this is this is patently false and uh, and uh, and and it's and it's having some serious implications. I mean we're we're dealing with a man who uh, you know uh, who is who is facing death threats now. Um, you know threats. Uh, at his own house, uh, you know, phone calls, uh, just an incredible amount of, uh, of, of things, terrible things happening as a result of this allegation. And I just want to, uh, I think, say to, to you, the viewers, to everybody that might be watching this, uh, this, uh, this, that, uh, you know, you can't fall for this kind of a hoax. Um, it is, uh, it is, it is patently false. And, uh, and we've got to fight back on this kind of stuff. Okay, but this is an allegation now he's made over a couple of days to a couple of witnesses, even suggesting to the head of CSIS that they were aware of Mr. Fox's presence here and actively covering up. He tried to pursue that again with Marco Mendicino. Why do you think this is happening? If it is, as you say, patently untrue, and as you point out, you know, Brian Fox is a conservative who supported Pierre Polyev for the leadership of the Conservative Party, as I understand it. Why do you think these allegations are coming up at all? I can't speak to it. Uh, I mean, Mr. Miller's going to have to speak to, for himself, the, 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 the convoy lawyer. All I can say, David, is um, we looked back, right? We looked back at the, at the records, uh, you know, because I said, well, let's, let's look back at where Brian was. Well, you know, he had dinner with his mother-in-law on Friday night. On Saturday, he was, you know, sort of moving around to Toronto. He went to the LCBO and we've checked his, you know, we've checked his credit card records. We know where he was on Saturday. At Sunday, he happened to be at my place. He was, he came for a family visit. We've got photos of that day. So, so, you know, you start to look at this kind of stuff. I can't speak to why some of this might, might've happened, but you know, it's misinformation. It's an unfounded allegation. Um, it's, it's unhinged. And, and, you know, we've got to clear this up immediately um, because we can't allow this kind of thing to stand in this kind of a, in this kind of a, uh, kind of a forum. And, and from our perspective, again, the, you know, I, I, I I'm a very prominent conservative. The idea that that a conservative, you know, like me, um, would be working in cahoots with Mr. Trudeau to discredit the Freedom Convoy or whatever the allegation here is here, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. And and I think um, it's having real impacts. I mean, the the, the threats, these kinds of things. It's got to stop. Well, what can you tell us about that, about the threats that Mr. Fox is receiving? Have you gone to the police about this? Has there been any attempt to engage law enforcement? Because when these things happen, you know, that seems like an appropriate step. So what more can you tell us about that? Two things, uh, David. I, number one, we appreciate all the support that we're getting. Uh, and Brian, the firm, everyone is getting a, a ton of support from from people from across the country, sort of saying, "Sorry, you're having to go through this." But uh, yes, law enforcement has been uh, has been has been brought in. I mean, we had to. I mean, these are very serious, very credible threats. You know, time's up. Uh, you know that kind of thing. It's very unnerving to wake up in the morning and and look and you're you're trending on Twitter and uh, and your your inbox is full of either hateful email messages and or and or and or or in, in our voicemails. And I just say, I will say as well, like the nature, forget about the, just the allegation, the politics, the allegation. The allegation is that Mr. Fox um, carried either a Confederate flag or a swastika around, mm -hmm. around Ottawa. Like those are, 
that, that's about as bad as you can uh, as you can get in terms of an allegation, a false allegation like the one that we're that we're dealing with here. And that brings in a, a whole other element of, of of sort of hate and 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 ugly, you know, an ugly allegation. So it's one of the reasons why, um, you know, we're so disheartened and, and 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 quite frankly, angry to see this out there and why I think, you know, this kind of false allegation has to be uh, dealt with right uh, square squarely uh, right on. You, you've had your lawyers at Blake send a, a cease and desist immediately and uh, requiring Mr. Miller to correct what you call his false statements, and you say that a formal libel notice is forthcoming. Do you intend to take legal action, or are you putting on notice that he is going to be sued for the allegations that he's made? We do, we do, and I, I've I've heard him, you know, talk about talk about privilege, and I'm not a lawyer. Um, you know, I've I, my first uh, my first political job was with you know that very liberal leader. Mike Harris, the Premier of Ontario, you know, everybody uh, knows he was a big Liberal. And, uh, and uh, you know, one of the first days running question period prep for Mike Harris, I knew what you said inside the House was privileged, what you said outside the House was not. So I'm not a lawyer, but I, I, I note Mr. Miller is repeating these allegations outside the uh, Commission, and I'll uh, be interested to see what, how, the, how the legal systems deals with some of these, because uh, they're false, they're defamatory, and, uh, and, and they've got to stop. There's also an attempt, as we understand it, uh, by Mr. Miller to get Mr. Fox and also Supriya Devetti, who works for Enterprise Canada and is a frequent commentator on the show, uh, to testify at the inquiry. Uh, what, what's your reaction to that, and will you take any steps as a firm to engage on that? Should it go anywhere? Well, I mean, if, if we're if we're asked, and Mr. Fox is, I think, more than happy to go tell Mr. Miller about his uh, his you know his political hero Pierre Polyev and go through his receipts for the Saturday and Sunday of where he got gas and and, and picked up booze in in the in Toronto just to discredit him. I think it would be a big embarrassment for Mr. Miller um, to uh, to have to go through those facts. But uh, I know that Mr. Fox is happy to have, answer the allegations about uh, about what his weekend looked like because you know we've got the receipts. That's the thing. We've got the receipts. We checked into it. For goodness sakes, Mr. Fox was was over here in my living room on on Sunday afternoon, uh, visiting my family. So um, you know, it's uh, Mr. Miller and these allegations. It's it's going to be an interesting time if we continue any further on this. Okay, Jason Leader, thank you so much for your time. That's Jason Leader, the president of Enterprise Canada.